All right, Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakhav Badash. All right, Mashena Kabawadium la Hazakwanium Shal Gadawal Wakab wa Shalom Bacharium Akim wa Bathium wa Shalom Mahab wa Bawarakim. All right, that is to say, all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son. All right, Yahweh Yahweh Shai Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who are inwardly calls God. Uh, Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, Yahweh's name means he is or he exists. Yahweh Shai, his son's name means he deliver or he salvation. All right, then I said Bahashim, Rakakadash, or Rakakwadash, which is to say in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, then I said peace to the elect brothers and sisters. All right, which is Shalom, Laha, Bakhayim, Akim, Wathium. All right. And uh, peace, love, and blessings. Shalom. Ahab wa barakim. All right. Uh, Kaya here back with another video. And I'm just making this through the spirit. And um, I just wanted to speak on the topic of, um, you know, how you gonna, how you going to, you know, continue to come across boastful individuals in this walk, you know, whether it be in the truth or in the world. All right. Because what? That boast and that pride spirit, I should say, that pride spirit is just... A way of saying, letting you know that he's still present in the people that you you know you may you may uh, uh, encounter, man. All right, especially especially in this life, man. Because what pride? The scripture say pride go before destruction. But let me get the word pride. Matter of fact, I want the definition. I want the etymology. Right. And I had did a you know quick video on it before. But you know you're gonna continue to encounter pride and arrogant individuals in this truth. Just to let you know, you know, and 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 and, and I'll, say, I'll say this too, a lot of them could be, you know, a reflection of who you are as a, as a person, or it can be a test of of how not to be in this ministry. All right. So this is the word pride. Now it says, and I'm gonna just get to the point. It says unreasonable self esteem, especially as one of the deadly sins, haughtiness. Overbearing treatment of others, pump, love of display. All right, so people who just want to be on the damn forefront all the time. All right, and um, the scriptures talk about how pride go up before destruction. I want to use my blue letter, but it's um going through an update right now, and I, I'm I'm already confident that the uh, the Google you know blue letter is gonna be laggy as hell. So I'm not even gonna do too much, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and get this before I go back to the scripture that I wanted to start with initially, uh, initially, let me, um, get this. In the book of Proverbs, just like, just bear with me. All right, here we go. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. I mean, I, I'm confident I had it on. Oh, I don't know what's the hell, what the hell is going on. But it is what it is. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. It says, pride goeth before destruction and in holy spirit before fall. All right? So now you had the, um, the etymology of the word pride. It says what? It says unreasonable self-esteem, especially as one of the deadly sins, haughtiness, overbearing treatment of others, pomp, love of display. All right, so, you know, and Brother's been posting about it for a couple weeks now, but you had this uh, this guy, you know, uh, Bishop Nathaniel and stuff like that. I can't find a post of it right now. I'm actually using a different device and things of that nature. But um, you you had this guy, you know, Bishop Nathaniel, you know what I'm saying, and, and his 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 peoples, all right, on these on these these mighty these mighty horses, man. You know, of course, dressed in the um the uh you know, the, uh, the, the soft raiment. <laughs> okay. But, but this, this video is not about them. I mean, you know, everything is relevant and things of that nature, but this video is not about him. You, you know, you got, you got the elders and elder brothers already dealing, you know, with their case, but what man? All right. Having, having pride is not good. All right. It's, it's unreasonable self-esteem. All right. Like nobody can tell you to do anything. Nobody can tell you anything, man. 
All right. You know, you're not, you know, listening to, to, you know, somebody in your life that's trying to, you know, put you on the game and give you the goods about how to, you know, uh, correct your wrongs or right, where you're going off at and things of that nature. All right. That's why what pride go before destruction when you have. So when you have that unreasonable or right, unlogical, because that's what the word reason goes back to logic. When you have that and when you put out that unreasonable self-esteem or behavior, what you end up uh, destroying yourself, bro. All right. That's why what it's important to, to listen to the people in your life, man. You know, whether you in the camp and brothers in the troop is telling you if everybody I'll say this too, because I, I've been through this a few times, you know, if everybody is telling you the same exact thing. All right. Then then what? You must be doing something wrong, man. OK, if everybody's telling you the same exact thing, if everybody's telling you, hey, brother, you off on this or you off on that or whatever the case is, man, it's your job to take heed, man. And not be illogical if, once again, everybody's telling you the same exact thing, all right? Humble the hell down and listen, man, all right? That's why the scriptures say what? Yahabah Shem is nigh unto them. Let me get it real quick, and then I'll jump back to uh, Luke, the 18th chapter, all right? In Psalms 34, all right, the, the, the scriptures talk about how the Lord is nigh to them. Of a, of a contrite spirit and a broken heart, man. You know, but we're going to get it real quick. Let me see. Um, There we go. It was 18, verse 18, all right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 18. It says, The Lord, the Ahawa, is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. All right, so you got a whole bunch of Israelite, off Israelite camps. All right, which they are Israelites, but they, they're off Israelites. That's why I keep using that expression. All right, they're, they're, they're making these wayward-ass doctrines, speaking damnable heresies against the elders, the apostles, and, 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 and uh, uh, brothers that they may have been around or familiar with, you know. They're speaking all of these things, you know, uh, against the scriptures, against the Yahweh Hashem and the Lord's righteousness, that, that, that what? They, 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 they're, they're seeking that, well, they're, they're, living, they're living in that mind state of, of the what? The unreasonable self-esteem, man. They're living in their pride, you know, which is not good. Okay, now it could just be for a moment, but what when when you know individuals start going off this brother's job, or right? it's the righteous job to, to correct them, to correct wickedness, man. That's the whole point of us going out there in the highways and the hedges, man. All right, because what Yahaba Shem Al Shah is all about chastening, bro. The Lord is all about chastening. The Lord does not like pride. The scriptures say what? Uh 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 um Pride is not made for men. I'm not going to pull it because I don't want to be all over the place. All right. Just a plethora of precepts popped up in my head, you know, through the spirit. Okay. But um, it says what? Well, verse 18, it says, the Lord, Yahweh is not unto them that are of a broken heart. All right. When you have a broken heart, that means a broken mind. All right. That means what? You, you, you don't, you don't, like you, you can't, um, how do I explain this? Like it's hard for you to put certain things together without instruction. Okay. That means that that means what you're lacking some type of a, a, a belief, all right, or, or or faith in something, okay. In 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 our particular situation, Lord's willing, you know, we are men of Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right, what we was lacking faith in was in was the world, okay. Which which that's good, that's beautiful to Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? Now it says, "In saveth such as be of a, a contrite spirit. Yeah, contrite, meaning meaning broken, man, damaged, vexed, crushed, all right? Because what? You know, finding out that everything that we knew in this world was a, was a total lie, man, okay? Everything that, that we that we grew up in, you know, in the world, finding out that it's a lie, you know, some uh, odd years later, whenever brothers came into the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, man, like the world, let, like, really let me down, you know? That's like, that's like, um... And that's why, and that's why what is it's important to what to, to feel like that because what you, you don't want to keep holding on, you don't want to keep crying over spilled milk, man. All right, you don't want to keep trying to pick up the glass shards, man, you know, of a of a of a of a broken vase. Okay. So it's good, it's good for brothers in the truth to have that, you know, that that and even not not just you know when you came into the truth, but always, man, you know. Not like in faith in your how about shit, how shot, but you know, acknowledging how how wrong the world did us, man. How wrong the world did you? You know, you you want to keep that in mind when you come into this ministry, because what the world will always let you down, and and it's because 
is because of, you know, certain individuals in the truth, you know, they don't want to let the world go and things of that nature. Right? They don't want to cleave unto you. How about Shimi How Shai? All right. Their, their, their faith is always going to be, you know, tossed to and fro and they're going to waver and eventually they're going to drop out. All right. I should know. That's why I can speak on these things be, uh, by reason of experience. All right. But let me go ahead and get this in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. All right. So there's Yahweh Shai right, speaking to his, um, to his disciples. All right. It says, saying there was a city. So like it says, saying there was in a city a judge which feared not the Most High, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Okay, like, like a woman going to cry for help, like, Oh my God, help save me, help save me. You know, save me, so on and so forth. Not help save me, but, you know, save me, help me, help me. Okay? Because what? You know, women, and not just to make this about women, but that's typically their nature. Like, you know, the, the you know when they're in some type of tribulation or, or some type of adversity, they scream, okay? That's their defense mechanism. That's supposed to be their defense mechanism when they're in trouble, all right? When they're, um, when there's a damsel in distress, what? She's supposed to scream out and cry for help, okay? So that's what that's saying. It says, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversary. Yeah, help me, save me. Somebody's after me, okay? Verse four says, and he would not for a while, talking about the judge, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by continual coming she weary me. Yeah, let me just go ahead and help her out before she get on my damn nerves, man. All right, let me just go ahead and help her. And, and, and situations like this happen, man. Okay, situations like this happen, you know, when somebody's constantly crying out for help, and you see it, and you may be the only one, and they feel the vision that can help them out. And I'm speaking in the physical, literal sense, of course, all right? They can be, you know, crying out to you for help, reaching out for help. And, you know, Jake being, you know, having a, a more moral spirit than everybody else on the planet, of course, will, you know, go over there like, ah, you know, I'm trying to go home. I just worked a damn 13 hour shift and stuff like that. And now this person asking for help. I'm, I'm just trying to get home. I'm about to miss this damn bus. You know, ah, fuck it. Let me just go over there, help them out and see what's up. It'd it be like that, right? It says, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust saith. Hear what the unjust judge saith. Verse 7, it says, and not, it shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, which this is true. You can read about that in Isaiah, this, uh, the 62nd chapter. All right, matter of fact, just to prove it, then we're going to come back to this. All right. And that's what that parable was talking about. If you can receive it, that's talking about the elect, what? Of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the prophets, all right, crying unto you, how about Shimi, how shy? Okay? Let me see. Um, it was verse 6. All right? Isaiah 62 and 6. All right, once again, talking about the prophets, all right, because the prophets started with the elders and the apostles is what is going to cry out continually to you, how about Shimi, how shy? For, for, for what? To avenge us of our adversaries, man. All right, the elect is going to cry to you, how about Shem to to, to to be avenged of their adversaries, man. You know, whoever those brothers, you know, may be, and Lord's willing, you know, I'm a part of that number. Because what? This is, once again, why, we, why we're supposed to go out to the highways and the hedges, and why we're supposed to continually upload our videos, man, and reading, and praying, and fasting, all right, because we want the Lord to hear us. All right, we need we we need we need his grace and mercy. All right, but going back to the point, all right, proving to you that uh, the watchmen, the elect, the prophets, all right, are going to be crying out, you know, as that proverbial uh, um, uh, a widow in distress. All right, Isaiah sixty-two verse six, it says, "I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night." Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, keep not silence. All right, so there you go. We're supposed to be crying out to the Heavenly Father and the Son to avenge us of our adversaries, okay? Now, adversaries include and are not limited to our right, two-thirds of our people, all right, the, uh, uh, which, which consists of the off-Israelite camps, 
okay? These damn pastor pork chops in the world, like the T.D. Jakes and the Creflo Dollars, all right? These, these fat pocketing niggas, okay? Our own women, all right? Like I said, ultimately, just two-thirds of our people, all right? This goes into Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, okay? And the rest of these heathen, all right? Because what? They identify as our enemies, man. Hey, and it could, it could even be what a brother in your own camp. It could even be a brother in your own camp, man. He may be being an en uh, enemy to you, you know? And so what? You're supposed to go pray to the Lord and not avenge yourself, all right? We're supposed to be waiting on the Lord's vengeance, man, all right? Now, the main vengeance is going to come back when Yahweh Shah comes back, man. That's that's going to be the main vengeance, all right? This is when Yahweh Shah comes back. All right, deliver us. All right, so uh, going back to verse 7, Luke 18 and 7, it says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Meaning what? Because what the scriptures say that the Lord is very uh, long-suffering, okay? The Lord the Lord is very long-suffering towards our, our uh, transgressions that we commit against him, all right? Now, this is not to say because, you know, Yahweh Shah died, you know, for the nation of Israel and the elect and things of that nature, and you know what I'm saying, like, you know, uh, we we have uh, um uh, we could uh, uh we ha we have um what's the word reconciliation? You know, back to the Father. Now, does this mean that we should just willingly go off? Which the scriptures talk about that, and the answer is no. All right, we're supposed to be doing our best every single day, man. Okay, and and as we're doing our best, yes, the Lord the Lord will check us when we go off. All right, the Lord may send Satan to check us if we even if we feel like we're doing the quote unquote right thing. You know, I, I, I got it in the video before, so I'm not going to go into all of it. But the scriptures talk about what? Tassening, man. Despise not the tassening of the Lord. You need to be weary of his correction. Okay. Uh, Hebrews, the 12th chapter. All right. Verse 8, Luke 18 and 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah. And this is talking about the times that we're moving into. Akim, Wak, Wakim. All right, it's, it's going to get so bad that, you know, not only you're going to have more guys, you know, uh, falling out of the truth and becoming faithless. All right. And, and, and you know, acting as a woman, you know, uh, 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 going into labor and things of that nature. It's, it's good because it's going to be real bad out here, man. And this is why what it's important for us to pray to you. How about Shima Shai, you know, now and even until, you know, he comes back, even until you how Shai comes back, man. All right, but time's going to get bad out here. The time, the hour of Jacob's trouble, pursuing to uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, it's, it's going to be ugly out here, man. It's going to be very ugly out here because what? You're going you're gonna to have certain individuals that, that will hardly be able to eat, man, which the Lord is going to take care of us. That's our faith, you know? There's going to be certain individuals who's not going to be able to eat, okay? Get uh, the rest of their wherewithal, you know, food, water, you know, medicine, all right? Certain individuals are going to be homeless. You got the homeless population going up, you know, uh, 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 as we speak, man. It's nasty out here. All right. Uh, matter of fact, and, and that damn wicked ass Jake in that video uh, over there in California. But California has one of the highest, you know, uh, uh, racist home, uh, rates of homeless people, man. Okay. And not just California. I think Detroit as well. And it's rising, you know, uh, uh, in, in New York City. It's, get, it's just getting bad out here, man. All right, it's getting worse. All right, verse nine, it says, um, it's like it, continuing on to verse eight. It says, shall he find faith on the earth? Once again, it's going to get, you, if you think it's bad now, wait till the evils multiply even more, man. Okay? And that's going to be around a time where uh, 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 Yahweh Shai start pouring out the, um, you know, even more, even more vials, okay? And, and things that's going to, you know, pollute this place. But what? Polluted in righteousness, you know, destroy it, all right, in righteousness, okay, but what, we have to be able to maintain our faith, man. Uh, verse 9, it says, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others, okay, because what, you got a lot of guys in this industry, all right, that, that love to boast in themselves, all right, that's why I had to pull that, um, that word, um, uh, pride earlier, man, unreasonable, unreasonable um uh self-esteem man okay because that's 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 really all it is 
All right, now I want to get the word boast. Okay, let's see what that says. Boast etymology. All right. So boast. It's like it just bear with me. All right. So boast noun. It says arrogance, presumption, pride, vanity. Okay, and, and, and a, a lot of these go back to that scripture. Well, all of these, forgive me, all of these go back to that scripture talk about leaning on your own understanding. Once again, that's why you got a, a lot of uh, uh, individuals who, you know, came into the knowledge of the truth. And then over some years, they started developing, you know, their own way of thinking, you know, outside of the scriptures. They're quote unquote thinking outside the box. All right. In a, in a, in a wicked sense. All right. Arrogance, presumption, pride, vanity. A brag, boastful speech, okay? Ostentation. It says to blow up, puff up, swell. Yeah, the scriptures also say, what? Knowledge puffeth up, man. All right? Now, this doesn't mean, you know, be willingly ignorant or be stupid or, you know, don't do research. That's not what that's saying. It just saying, what? You, you want to have some type of balance or moderation, you know, being in this ministry because, what? Not uh, uh, Having some ounce of... Uh, even a little, a, a, a small ounce of knowledge, man, you know, will make somebody, you know, just, oh yeah, I know everything. You know, you got a, you got a lot of guys, you know, and I, I you know, me personally, I met a, a, like, a, I'm talking about a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? In the truth and outside of the truth that just like, it's like, it's like, dude, like you don't know shit, like calm down, you know, just calm the hell down. I'm this and I'm that and you, that's not a good spirit to have, man, you know? Because what a lot of them get puffed up with knowledge, and they they start they start, you know, uh, abiding in their own understanding, and then what they they start acting like they don't need your how about shit, how shy, and then what they 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 finally go astray after the Lord shut their shit down, all right. But yeah, that was pretty much the point on that. Once again, these wayward doctrines that's been coming out now, like even with the whole I'm King David bullshit, that whole demon, bro, that's a real heavy demon in Israel, man. I'm King David. It's like, who the hell do you think you are, bro? Relax. You know, but but once again, these are just individuals who don't trust the Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. You know, but but what? They they trust in themselves. You know? So uh, Luke 18 and 9, it says, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised other. Yes, uh, self-proclaimed righteousness, man. All right, self-proclaimed righteousness is not righteousness. You know? Sorry, not sorry. All right, because you, you got a you got a lot of individuals that just once again they just they 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 lean on their own understanding or they trust in other men's words. All right, that's not your how about your mouth size and and you got uh, and you and this is this is why it's, it's important to be careful of of you know quote unquote yes men and people who uh who tell you that you did that you've done nothing wrong because you know just in an example you know these these females out here in Babylon today all right in their minds they can do no wrong. You know, because they got a whole bunch of dudes in their fucking DMs and then they, 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 you know, uh, uh, in their um, uh, 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 phones and shit like that, telling them that they, you know, gassing them up. You're so beautiful. You, you can never do no wrong. You know, show to you the best and all this other shit. But inwardly, they, and they, it, these dudes, they just entertain them and they gas their fucking heads up, bro. All right. And the same thing can happen to, to any of us, man. You know, when you got family members or brothers in the camp or whoever the hell, Gassing you up and telling you that that you can't do anything wrong, and justifying your wickedness, justifying your uh, behavior instead of rather condemning it. All right, that's that's wrong, bro. Okay, but let me get this. And, and so what? Because you done got gassed up, you feel so damn right. All right, you you start looking down and frowning on other people. You start shitting on the next man. Which well, Luke eighteen and ten. It says two men went up into the temple to pray. One a Pharisee and the other a publican, right? And a publican is basically a tax collector, okay? It says, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. <laughs> and, and look, he was he was throwing shade at the publican, man. He was boasting himself to, to the heavenly father, man. All right? He was boasting himself to the heavenly father. Verse 12, it says, 
I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. All right, because what? He was he just asking for mercy like, like, Lord, I just pray that you have mercy on me. Couldn't even look up, bro. All right, and that's what? That's going back to that uh, uh that um that Psalms 34 and 18. All right, being of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. All right, that's a beautiful thing with the Most High because what? We, we, we supposed to move through in balance, in balance. We supposed to be maneuvering through this life as, you know, I ain't shit, you know? But you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, condemn yourself, all right? Once again, it, it goes back to balance, man, all right? A false balance is an, uh, is an abomination to you. How about Shimmy How was shy? All right, so what? There are times where you got to be like, well, you got to have, I'll say it like this. You got to continue to have confidence in the Lord, man, all right? You got to have confidence in your How about Shimmy How shy? Always, thumb yad, all right? However, don't have, don't be overconfident, you know, to the point where you just talking about yourself all the time and what you've been through and how you do this and how you do that and how much money you make and who you done met and who's on your comment board and uh, uh, subscribe to your channel and, you know, uh, uh, all this other shit that, you know, guys in the truth and people in the world do like you, you like you really ain't no better than the individuals on YouTube who film themselves giving money to the homeless or giving food to the homeless. All right, or somebody you know in a less fortunate situation, you you really know you really not any better than that, bro. Okay. It says, um, yeah, Luke eighteen and thirteen. It says, and the publican standing afar off would not would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh, be merciful to me, a sinner. Yeah, because we're all the sinners. All right, according to the uh, the Mosaic law, all of Nate. All of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, the 12 tribes of Jacob, all right, we became sinners by disobeying and dishonoring the Heavenly Father, all right? Verse 14, it says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Why? Because he wasn't boasting himself, all right? He knew that he knew that he was a sinner and he wanted to be forgiven and he knew he needed uh, uh, Shai. He knew that he needed the Lord, which is the mindset that we always need to be in. As much as we can help it. All right. And you can with what? Fasting, prayer, supplication. Okay. It says, I tell you, and, and this is why what? Like, like individuals who talk too much, because you do, you do meet talking of brothers in this truth, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, so you got certain spirit of brothers. But I'm talking about guys that just like that's just like uh 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 um just just saying a whole bunch of nothing, man. Just constantly talking about themselves and what they've been through, and I'm I'm not I'm not saying it's wrong to not hear a brother's you know what I'm saying like a, a story or whatever the case, but if it's like if it's excessive because you shouldn't want to talk about yourself like that, man. You know you don't you don't want to talk about yourself all the time unless unless somebody asks you. If somebody asks you about yourself, then you could talk about yourself. You know, not like I've been through this and I've been through that and yada 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 so yada 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 yada. You know, because the scriptures, the scriptures even say by much babbling, as a matter of fact, fuck it, let me pull that. You know, because what, you don't want to vex your brother's spirit, man, call him brothers three, four days in a row, talking about the same old, whatever the hell, you know, once again, you got certain, um, individuals, you got, you got certain brothers who are, you know, more talkative than others, and what, they'll be talking about things of the spirit, going over scriptures, but if you're just talking about yourself like this damn uh, Pharisee in the scripture, that's not that's not comely behavior. Um, that's in the Apocrypha. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus called Sirach, chapter 20, verse 5. It says, there is one that keepeth silence and is found wise. And another by much babbling becometh hateful. So there you go, man. That's why it's important for what? And the scriptures also talk about how, uh, you know, a man of wisdom, uh, roughly paraphrase the refrain of his lips. All right. It says, there is one that keep of silence and is found wise and another by much babbling becomes hateful. Yeah. Like when you look at certain individuals in the world, that's why what, you know, um, I remember growing up, you know, people would be like, uh, 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 uh yeah, you want to watch out for them silent people. You know, you, you want to watch out for the real quiet people, 
you know, because what well, you you never really know to, what to expect from from a quiet individual. You know, they they got this 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 um enigmatic nature going about them. You know, they it, it and that's that's just their spirit, man. You know, it says in another by much babbling becometh hateful. Yeah, man, by so, somebody who talk too much, you start to. Uh, I don't really like being being around this person because what it vexes your spirit. Somebody just talking about themselves all the fucking time, you know. And once again, that's the same. And this is this is a parable, but what people like these exist. All right, the Pharisee and the publican. The Pharisee he was boasting himself, okay. And the publican, what well, he he wasn't boasting himself, you know. He begged for the Lord to to uh, uh, to um to to uh uh, uh um. He, he entreated the Lord, you know, for, for his mercy, you know, by calling himself a sinner, you know, asking the Lord to be merciful him to a, a, a sinner. Okay. Um, yeah, that was the point on that. Verse 14, it says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So there you go, man. And that's really the point. All right. He that humble himself, excuse me, everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, man. All right, when you when you bring yourself up, you know, when you when you trying to, you know, uh, uh, go up the mountain another way, you know, go up, go up another way, you know, meaning seeking glory for yourselves, man. All right, the Lord is going to cut you down, and the Lord will allow you pursuant to um Ecclesiastes. The eighth, the eighth chapter, this around like the 11 and 12 verses, you know, talk about how um, though a sinner do a hundred times and things of that nature. What? The the, the, the Lord the Lord is going to get with him, man. All right. So just because, you know, you're sinning and you're indulging in your glory and things of that nature for so long, that don't mean the Lord is not going to get you. The Lord is just allowing you to, you know, get pumped up. All right. Have your little time or whatever the case. And then, you know, when it's, when it, whether it's, you know, at, one point in time or another, the Lord got to get you. He got to get you back because you're not giving him his glory. All right. Look at all of these celebrities down, uh, dying nowadays, man. Young and old. All right. And then it says, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Yeah. So when you when you just make yourself uh, of, of, of low stature and low estate, like, you know what? Like, I just I just want to do the works. I just want to, you know, be my own man. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me just be the. Let me just uh, uh, be, a, um, you know, let me just be cordial around brothers because you don't always got to be a brother friend, man. All right. And just, uh, I'm not going to pull it, but the scriptures talk about instead of a friend, uh, be not an enemy. Roughly paraphrase. I think that's in the book of Sirach, uh, uh, Sirach as well. All right. But there's nothing wrong with just being cordial with brothers, you know, because you're not going to like everybody, man. All right. Shit, look at what's going on in Israel right now. Once again, the off the off Israelite camps. And then you got the, the righteous, all right, the, the, the righteous Israelite camps, okay, who hearken unto you, how about Shem al Shab? Why them other guys is talking about, you can call the most high, you'll play yoga, and all this other stupid shit, you know? There's a huge division, in, huge divisions in Israel right now, all right? But going back to the point, when you humble yourself, when you make yourself of a low estate, all right, the most high is going to lift you up, all right? He's going to uh, put you in, um, um, you know, higher positions, better positions that you never thought possible because what you just you just on grind mode, bro. All right, Luke eighteen and fifteen. You know what? That was that was pretty much it because uh 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 these these the next three verses talk about you know what I'm saying how you have to be as a little child, which is still relevant, but I don't want to pull that. That's that's I pretty much I pretty much hit the point, man. I pretty much hit the point, you know. But um, once again, man, it's just it's not. It's not it's not good to be proud, man. You know, it's not good to boast yourself. All right. It's not good to matter of fact. Let me go ahead and get that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty seven, verse one. All right. It says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. I think I bought this out on a, a previous video. All right, but what? Boast not thyself of tomorrow. So don't don't be telling the Lord what you're going to do. And, and the scriptures say that in the New Testament as well. You know, like don't worry about the things about tomorrow because what? The, 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 the next day take care of itself, you know? Now, this is not to say 
this is not to say, because I made a video a while back talking about spiritual scheduling. There's nothing wrong with doing that shit. A lot of brothers got videos that, that they want to do that's, you know, lined up. But the spirit just may take it somewhere else. There's nothing wrong with that. This scripture is mostly talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 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 I'm a, um, I'm a build, I'm a build this type of business, you know, in the next couple months or years and so on and so forth. I'm going to have this many women and things of that nature. I, it's just, you never know what the hell is going to happen, man. You never know what's, what's going to happen the next day. So just, you know, live for the day, you know, get through. All right. Is there anything wrong with having a plan? No. Okay. But what, what, what you do when you boast of tomorrow, you tell the most high what's going to happen. All right. And the, the Lord can easily shut that operation down because he is. All right. He exists. All right. It says, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Okay. Ooh, verse two. Beautiful. It says, let another man praise thee and not thine own mouth. Yeah. Yo, I'm a good brother, man. <laughs> you know, I, I know the scriptures. <laughs> man, I know this scripture, that scripture. I, 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 so on and so forth. And, you know, certain individuals might not, might not always say it like that, but they show it. You know, they got real cocky, arrogant spirits, man. And, and that's not comely. That's not comely. You know, you got certain guys that have been in the truth for five, six, seven, ten years. And 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 what? They they with all of that wisdom, with all of that, you know, uh 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 um excitement, you know, and individuals praising them, they they what? They just they mind start going in a whole another direction. Okay? It says, let another man praise thee. So yeah, let somebody else praise you. All right, because what? There's nothing wrong with praise. Okay, there's nothing wrong with, 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 with good, comely praises, bro. You know, telling another brother, hey, I, that was a beautiful video. We're sharing brothers' videos and posts, okay? It says, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Okay, so what? You're not, once again, going back into being boastful and prideful, all right? So there you go, man, all right? Let another man praise you and not your own mouth, like that Pharisee back in Luke, the 18th chapter. All right, he was boasting and praising himself all right, in the sight of the Most High. In the sight of the Most High, man. All right? And in the sight of man, you know, what these uh, uh this other Israelite camps is doing. You know, like I talked about uh, Bishop Nathaniel, you know, in a, uh, I think it was like a black and gold garment. And um, <laughs> these guys are sick, man. <laughs> these guys are sick, you know? These guys are totally sick, but you know who's who's to say that 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 can't turn into myself or any other sincere brother. Well, not not sincere, but any other any other individual who who observes these guys, man, because what they're doing, man. Once again, they're not giving reverence to the heavenly Father. So you know, Jake coming into the truth, he might see the the soft raiment, the luxurious garments, so to speak. Okay, they may think that it's cool, and even brothers who who've been in the truth for a while, they may you know start poking fun at these guys and laughing at them and so on and so forth. But it's just like, look, any any single last one of us could turn into, you know, these off Israelite camps, all right? And, and bug the hell out, teaching wayward doctrines and buck up against the elders. Any last one of us could do that, man. Any last one of us could do that, you know? It's, and if I'm being honest and, and you get offended, you get offended. It's really not that hard to, 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 to be a bug out, man. It's really not that hard. You know, the scriptures talk about, you know, um, uh, broad is the way of destruction. So I know I'm not wrong in saying that, you know, it's easy to be a bug out out here. It's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. All right. But um, going into this scripture, this is the book of Romans chapter three. Oh, man, this whole, yeah, this whole chapter is good. Um, Romans chapter three, but I'm gonna just get to the point, you know, here a little, there a little. Romans 3 and 23, it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. All right, which, which, yes, this is very true. All right, we've all sinned and come short. All right, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why it's good. It's comely for us to not be, you know, boasting of the things that, boasting ourselves and boasting of the things that we're going to do, telling the Most High and your how shall what we going to do and how it's going to be. Because what? Well, it doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. The Lord created you. The Lord created what the, the 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 heavens, the earth, you know, the fowls of the air, the creeping things of the earth, the beasts, the fishes of the sea. All right, you who are you to tell the Most High what's gonna happen and what's not gonna happen? 
All right? You ain't no better than this damn rule, this damn devil ruling over us right now. All right? It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Yeah, we are short of his glory, man. Okay, just to prove that, let me get this in the book. Going back to Isaiah, all right? Chapter 64. Verse 6. It says, but we, all right, but we, Israel, we, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it says, but we are all as an unclean thing. Yeah, we're, we're filthy. We're abominable, man. It says, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we do all, and we all do fade as a leaf, all right, because what a leaf, a leaf in, 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 the, in the winter, or just in general, like when it falls from a tree, what, it, it, it crumbles over time. You know, it crumbles. So we all do fade as a leaf. Yeah, just like our righteousness crumbled over time. Okay? It says, in our iniquities, like the wind have taken us away. So there you go, man. All right? In our iniquities, like the wind have taken us away. And, and that's what happened when we fell off from uh, from, from serving the Heavenly Father in, in, in the laws thereof, man. All right? And, and what? We continue to go off, man. Okay? But what through through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah through Yahweh Shah we've obtained you know mercy enough to enough to pray to him and the heavenly father so that you know we, we should be begging them we need to be begging them that they hear us our prayer our supplication all right yeah that was really the point on that because the scriptures say also as well in um Isaiah the 59th chapter all right that the Lord's hand is not sure and that he cannot save all right, so so when you when you just reach out to the Lord, look at our forefathers, man. You know, all of uh, all, all of our forefathers went off at at, at, at one point in time. All right, I, I know I've mentioned that a lot, but King David committed committed murder and adultery, adultery and murder. Okay, and what the Lord was still dealing with him, bro, because King David was always praying, he was always giving glory and praises to the Lord, bro. You know, and that was intentional because there's no I accidentally. You know, slept with another man's wife, but no, that was intentional. But what the Lord still uh, uh, had compassion and, and loving on him. Yes, did King David get punished for that afterwards? Absolutely. All right, and it's going to be the same thing with us, man. And that was before Yahweh shot. Okay, and his um, his uh, uh uh his purpose. Okay, so what the scriptures say, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses. Are filthy rags. Yeah, filthy rags, man. Detestable objects, man. Okay? Snot nose, tissues, rags. You know? It says that we and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So there you go, man. Alright? We and that's why that's why Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were in the state that we're in today. Alright? Because we allowed our iniquities to um to uh admonish our righteousness you know which which that's wrong okay so going back to romans 3 and 23 it says for all of sin and come short of the glory of the most high verse 24 being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in hamashiach yahweh shai all right the redemption all right what is the redemption the blood his blood man that redemption is a token of, 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 of our salvation, man. That, that what? We was being bought back by the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, man. All right? His crucifixion. Verse 25. Whom the Most High have set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of the Most High. Okay, and that was really the point on that. Let's look up the word propitiation, propitiation, propitiation. Like I said, my blue letter is, is doing some update right now. So I'm going to just, you know, etymology and, you know, Google definition stuff. Okay, all right, it is working. It's just laggy. All right, so propitiation, all right. Of course, 
And that's 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 so fucking wicked. How are you gonna use the same word in the definition of the word that I just looked up? So we're going to add some online. Okay, propitiation. It says atonement, expiation. Okay, and atonement. All right, appease, propitiate. All right, when you atone for something, that mean that means what? You 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 um you're um you you like you're looking for forgiveness, man. You're looking for forgiveness. You're seeking forgiveness. You're seeking favor. All right, it says favorable, gracious, kind, well disposed. All right, like like in the nation of Israel, we have a day of atonement. Okay, we do have a day of atonement to where what we we fast. All right, we pray. Okay, and we 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 just reflect on you know everything that we've been through up until we came into the truth and in the truth. All right, but what and and. Yeah, I mean, that's just the Day of Atonement, our High Holy Day itself. But what? We can have many Days of Atonements for our own selves, man. Once again, and, and a, a lot a lot of guys don't understand how big fasting and praying is important in this ministry, man. Because like I said it earlier, that's why a lot of guys lose faith. That's why they fall out. It's not just the works. It's not just about uploading videos. It's, 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 it's not just about learning every single last precept. Yeah, you do it. You know, for for you know, uh, uh, for more edifying camp days and, and and doing videos and things of that nature. But it's not just about the works, man. It's about your faith. Where you how about Shem Al Shai? All right. Now, yes, they was. Now, yes, our forefathers was making epistles and, and and letters in the past and 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 things of that nature as well. Okay, but what they knew that it wasn't just about that because what faith comes by works, man. And work by faith. They work hand in hand. But you got a lot of guys who try to make it about uploading videos and, you know, becoming fucking precept lords. And that's not what it's about, bro. You know, this being in this ministry, it's about atonement. All right. You want the Lord to forgive you. You're you going to have to. You're going to have to what? You're going to have to humble the hell down. All right. You're going to have to, as it says in the book of Jeremiah, I believe it's the third chapter, acknowledge thine own iniquity. All right. Humble the fuck down, man. You are not that special. That there's a there's a song by Shine Down. There's a song. I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play. It. I was actually thinking about doing a video on it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna bypass that and I'll just bring it out like this. It's oh man. There's a song by Shine Down called um uh, Special. I'm gonna just pull it up. You know what I'm saying? So so brothers and sisters, uh you know uh know what to look for. I don't think they made an official video video to it so they just got it on the um they just got it on the um i guess it's their album page let me see uh the fuck oh yeah shine down shine down special like i said i don't think they got an official video to it yeah, they don't got an official video, but the song, the song itself, it's a, it's a pretty nice song for those of you, you know, like myself who who enjoy a little bit of you know, rock music alternative from time to time. And Shinedown has been out for a while now, you know. Um, but yeah, this is a nice song to listen to, and it's, it's one of those things where just like it's a remind, it's a reminder, you know, for our own selves that we are not that fucking special, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't mess around, brothers. Just like you know, I I think I think. You know what I'm saying? X, Y, Z. You know, brothers talk about me. I can hit them in my head. Just like, why are you? Like, you're not that special. You know, I, I, you know, you got certain guys that's trying to learn my name. And all of a sudden, it's like, bro, you're not that special. Hell, uh, a lot of the elders' names and elder brothers' names is out there, you know, uh, uh, in the world right now that, that people know about. You know, I remember a certain account with a, with a head brother down south, you know, in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? His, his, somebody had pulled his whole account out. Like, his whole you know, what he was doing in the world and all of this other stuff, like his 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 whole government name and shit like that. It's one of those things where just like you're not that fucking special, bro. Calm down. Jake just think he the shit, man. You know, and, and, and shit like and things like that, it, it makes me sick, man. It makes me sick because yes, we are special. All right, and you should want brothers to feel special about themselves. You know what I'm saying? But but not to the point of, you know, glorifying them and and you know, um, I remember the elder apostle Ramlop had did a video, you know, concerning the whole glowing eyes and stuff like that. And the elder was just like, you know, y'all brothers need to stop fucking doing that shit. 
Because we're just regular men. We're just regular men. You know, but you got certain guys that, that just, once again, they talk about their own lives, all right, to the point of grievousness, all in and out of brothers' ears and stuff like that, and start thinking that everybody is fucking after them, man. All right, Esau in general is after us, man. Of course, there's somebody out to get you, but you don't got to talk to, talk like that about, uh, talk like that to brothers all the time. Yeah, I can feel like somebody after me, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we're all being fucking persecuted, you know? This person trying to know my name and it's trying to get this person trying to get my whole government and bank account and all this other stupid shit. You know, but um it's like you. I just went on a little rant. It's just, you know, Jake Jake just be fucking full of himself at times, man. Alright, Romans 3 and 25 it says, Whom the most I have set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. Yeah, an atonement through faith. An atonement, a propitiation, an atonement. Through faith in his blood, all right, in Yahweh Shai's blood, all right? It says, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of the Most High. Once again, the Most High, he's very, um, he's very, for, he's very forbearing, man, all right? He's very forbearing. Even when, when he don't have to be, bro. Even when he don't have to be, all right? And this, and this is why, you know, he's always worthy of praise, man. He's always worthy of praise, you know? And this is also another reason why it's, it's, it's important to not make oaths like, you know, oh, Yahab I swear to God, or I promise I'm going to do this this day or the next day and so on and so forth, because you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. You know, who knows? You could be asleep that whole day, you know? <laughs> I'm being funny, but Jake be doing that shit, but you could be like, damn, I'm going to bust out like three videos tomorrow. You know, shit, you get into a fucking car accident and, you know, it, you know without being injured. You know, stuff like that. You just never know what the fuck is going to happen in this ministry. That's why we always say, Lord's willing. I do want to All right. Uh, let me get this last scripture. Because I don't want to rant too much. I, um. Because I know I could, I know I could hold one. This is the book of Sirach. Called Ecclesiasticus. Or Ecclesiasticus called Sirach. So like in the Apocrypha. Chapter 18. Verse 21. All right. And I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to salute out from here. All right. It says, humble thyself before thou be sick and in the time of sins show repentance. All right. Humble thyself before thou be sick. What? Sick with pride. Sick with arrogance. All right. Sick with narcissism. Okay. Sick with folly. All right. Sick with all of the elements of, of, of this world, man. It says that in the time of sins, show repentance. Okay, repent, feel sorrowful, turn back. All right, accept what the fuck you did and stop focusing on every damn body else, man. Because it's, it's at the end of the day, this is our walk, man. That's why the scripture saying in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. All right, examine yourself whether uh, you be in the faith. Okay, so what? Oh, that's the spirit. So like, I'm going to read verse up. It says, um, the verse up, Sirach 18 and 20, before judgment, examine thyself. So there you go, man. Perfect. Before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find favor. All right. Acknowledge your own offense, man. Acknowledge your own offense, Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. If you and brother get into a spat, or you and brothers get into a spat, all right. And once again, if everybody's saying the same fucking thing, man, it would be a good time to look in the mirror. And don't pussyfoot, man. Don't beat around the bush. All right? If a brother offends you, all right, let, let him know his offense and where he stands. If he Even if he annoys you, it may not necessarily even be an offense, but it but could potentially become an offense. Let him know where he went off. You know, don't just get mad at him and, you know, be mad at him for like fucking 12 days straight. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to camp with him and all this other stuff. I'm just like, come on, bro. That's There's no mercy in that. Say what the fuck is on your mind. Okay? So before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Verse 21, humble thyself before thou be sick. And in the time of sins, show repentance. All right? So that's what? That's, that's, that's how it's supposed to be all the time, man. Okay? This is why, once again, while prayer, fasting, and supplication... To the Most High, why Yahweh Shah is 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 uh, uh, imperative, all right, to our lives. 
Okay, it's very important when we're in this ministry. All right. Once again, you do something wrong, you know, acknowledge your, your possible offense, man. All right, because what is it's there's scriptures on everything, but they ain't scriptures on everything. You know, if that makes any sense, like you're not gonna find every single itty bitty little tiny matter in the scriptures. You know, sometimes you sometimes it, it comes with what it comes with um uh uh, uh 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 experience, man. Sometimes it comes with experience. All right, but what the scriptures? We have the layout, we have the foundation, we have the life lessons. Okay, we have the laws. All right, we have the uh, the the law. More importantly, the law of faith. All right, so um. I'm going to close out here. I pretty much got the point. Um, so with that being said, Lord's willing, this was edifying. All right, to the hopeful elect. I'm going to say, Shalom.